So what really is cover call writing? Now, cover call writing is also known as buy write. As the name suggests, it means buying a security and simultaneously writing a call option against it. Now, over time or over market cycles, the buy write strategy demonstrates a higher sharp ratio, which is return over per unit of risk compared to the underlying stock index. Now, let me illustrate how a corporate call or a covered call option works. Here, we are writing a call option on our Apple holding. The strike price is at 10% higher than the current spot price. And the option is for a period of just over one month before expiry. For writing this call option or selling this call option, we would have been paid a premium of 1.4% or on an annualized basis, 12%. On the date of the expiry of the option, in the event the price of Apple shares settles at above the strike price, then we are obligated to deliver the Apple share to the option buyer at the strike price, even though the then market price can be higher. Conversely, if the share price is below the strike at that point of expiry, we would continue to hold on to Apple in our portfolio. And in the process, we also pocketed the option premium. So the obvious question is, am I giving up upside beyond the 10% appreciation? The answer is yes. But really, the way to look at this is this. First, a 10% appreciation of the share price over one month is a good profit. It's not a small number to brush aside. And not forgetting, we would have received 1.4% income from writing this option. Second, the proceeds from delivering the Apple share to the option buyer would allow us to then redeploy into another growth stock that we deem to be attractive. And again, sell or write a covered option against it. Now, this shows the indicative premiums of a sample list of growth equities that we like today. Averaging an annualized premium of 13%, with a time to expiry of between one to two months. As you can see, the range of premiums is from 7%, in this case for Amazon, to 17% in the case of Tencent. Why? Because Tencent has a higher implied volatility compared to Amazon. Obviously, these premiums would vary depending on the volatility of the broad market as well as on the individual stock. By now, you can probably appreciate that the buy right strategy would outperform the underlying stock index in an environment where the market is neutral to moderately bullish. While if we enter a period where the returns are very strong, this strategy would have to give up excess returns. Now, given the astounding 70 over percent recovery in the stock market since the low of March 2020, this certainly is not an unfavorable time to enter into this strategy. And this is how the barbell income portfolio would be positioned in. 41% in growth equities, which we will write call options on. 14% in 
in dividend yielding equities, 20% in developed market bonds, 20% in emerging market Asian bonds, and the remaining 5% in cash. It will be a globally diversified portfolio, holding the best of class companies that pays the highest dividends and the best of class companies that gives us the potential, the highest potential for capital gains. It will be diversified across the world. We will have exposures in US, Europe, Asia, Japan. And that overall portfolio construct will make it resilient. 